dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. from Southern Country Living and today I'm making skillet chicken with um, garlic butter sauce and uh, I've got some nice thin chicken breast here and uh, also I've got uh, over here some rice and some English peas for our dinner meal tonight and uh, over here are my seasonings I have I'm going to be browning it in olive oil and uh, I have some um, Italian seasoning and sage and some garlic and I have some uh, butter over here it's unsalted butter and then right here I have some uh, chicken broth and I'm gonna salt and pepper this and so let me get started on my meal Okay, I'm going to salt and pepper my chicken. And if you have bigger pieces of chicken, you can use a, a mallet. But I had just thin slices, so I don't really need a mallet to thin these out. Sometimes you can get some really big chicken breasts, so you can uh, cut them in half and use a mallet on them. But like I said, these right here were thin pieces. Um, our market, it all uh, cuts them thin like this, so this is saving me a step. Okay, I have some uh, olive oil here in this pan about maybe two tablespoons full. Okay, and so now I'm going to put my chicken in here. Hear that sizzle? That's when you know it's ready. Okay, I'm going to be cooking these since they're real thin. About maybe three to four minutes on each side. Hummingbird just came up to visit me, huh? <laughs> and you didn't have your flower shirt on, so you must have been coming to see me. <laughs> I think those little hummingbirds out there, they think they're real. They probably do. Yeah. I had this, uh, I am about a medium height. Some people uh, call this a burner, but we usually say I ah, down here. I'm probably only going to be cooking these about, uh, like I said, three to four minutes on uh, each side. But if yours are bigger, you may want to cook them about either five or six minutes. Just depends on if you used your mallet. And if you've got yours this thin, then just three to four minutes. I don't know if I said this in my introduction, but I hope everyone is having an amazing day today. It is so humid here today. I'm glad that I'm cooking on just an easy uh, dinner meal for us tonight. 
I'm not going to turn that oven out either. I'm not going to fix any bread. If you want to um, check your uh, chicken for donuts, it, you can check it at 165 degrees on your thermometer. You've got to make the thermometer for it to be done. I'm pretty good at judging it. I hadn't killed me and Calvin yet. Four more minutes on the other side. Okay, my chicken is ready to be uh, taken out of the skillet now. Now then, I'm ready to add in my seasonings. I'm adding in my butter. And this uh, recipe will be in the description below. until the garlic blends. Okay, now then I'm going to add in my um, chicken. And my butter. And my Italian seasoning. Cook this until my butter melts. Okay. Now then I'm going to add my chicken back in. over my chicken. Okay. 
Okay, my uh, chicken, skillet chicken is done now, so I'm going to plate this up a plate. Another about garlic. <laughs> This is the part, y'all, that I always like uh, doing the best, and I always tell y'all every time <laughs> that this is the part I like doing the best. So here I go, doing the taste test. Mmm. That chicken has a lot of um, amazing flavor going on. I can taste the sage and the Italian seasoning and the garlic. And it really tastes great. <laughs> so if y'all try this recipe, y'all may like it as much as I do. <laughs> and also, uh, if you want to know how to cook the rice and the peas, I cook the rice on uh, by the instructions on the box and uh, these right here are just uh, canned peas and I just put a little sugar and butter and a little salt in them you know that's the way I like mine okay me and Calvin is going to sit down and eat this meal with a good glass of uh, iced tea and then we'll come back and give you our reviews hi everyone um, we're back to do the rating on our um, skillet chicken with the uh, garlic butter sauce meal and uh Kevin what did you think about it did I get to go first sure <laughs> <laughs> well I think Marie didn't tell anyone this but she was trying to make a good healthy meal tonight <laughs> and so uh, I don't know if she's trying to trick me or what <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'll start with them green peas the uh, English peas yeah. and I actually like the green peas and I eat every bit of that Okay. And so I'll go ahead and give those green peas a, I'll give them a five. <laughs> five stars for the green peas, okay? They were good, Marie. And did you say you put sugar in them just a little bit? Yeah, or? but we're supposed to be rating the well, garlic, right. butter, salt, okay. chicken. Okay, well, I'm going to rate the whole meal. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you do it your way. Okay, but I like the green peas. They were good. Okay. Uh, the rice... Uh, it was good and fluffy, wasn't it? It was. And, yeah. and on the rice, what we did after we had turned the camera off, I took some of the butter sauce, and Marie did too. It was her suggestion. And put some of that butter sauce on top of that rice, and that was really good. It and really so, was. Uh, and so we'll give five on the rice. Uh, on the skillet chicken, uh, I love the flavor of the butter sauce. It was real good. The chicken was, uh, well, it was pretty tender. I had one piece that was perfect, but the small piece was just a little bit tougher. And it might have been because it overcooked just a little bit. Yeah. But overall, I would say this chicken and the garlic butter sauce was a very good recipe. So I'm going to give that one a 4.8 stars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being critical today, aren't I right? <laughs> oh, that's fine. I just give the overall meal a 5. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. The peas, the rice, and I really enjoyed the uh, garlic butter chicken. Mm -hmm. I just really thought it had really good flavors in it. I love the Italian seasoning in it, and I love the sage in it. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I just loved all how all the flavors marinated together. I just real in the garlic. I just well naturally garlic makes everything better. Mm -hmm. But I just really enjoyed the whole meal. No, that's great. And, and it, also in that meal, you could have used uh, wine instead of chicken broth, <laughs> white wine. But uh, I prefer to cook with chicken broth. But you know, uh, you can make it. Uh, you can use the seasonings in it that you want, but these are the ones that um, we really enjoy. Yeah, it was good, yeah. and it was uh, it was not that hard of a meal to make, was it? No, not really, um, because you know down here in the south it does get hot in the evenings, mm -hmm. <laughs> really humid too. Yeah, we didn't heat the house up much, so it was no, fine. No, and it cooked uh, the actual chicken meal. Mm -hmm. It only took about um, probably the about, whole meal didn't take about 20 25 minutes. Yeah, it didn't right. take long to yeah. get everything ready and cooked. Uh -huh. It took us longer setting up to make a video of yeah, it, but the actual true. cooking time would be very small for it. Right, and I like um, easy put together meals like that. Absolutely, very good. Yeah, and this would be a good weeknight meal for. Uh, family that's wanting to get in and out of the kitchen quick. <laughs> you did a good job, Marie. Thank you. Well, thank you, Calvin, for all your help. <laughs> you helped too. <laughs> so I hope y'all, if y'all try this meal, that y'all like it as much as we did. And uh, y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. I know I